Hey guys, Friday, October 7th, the Trail of Terror layout is official. Let's check it out. New entrance to the Ghost Walk, FCG, Pepper's Ghost there, tour guide walks you through here. Tells you a little story, cautions you to watch your step, and sends you on to your next area. Should be the butcher shop still. Got the grill wired up, and it does look a lot better at night. And we have, uh, what am I trying to say? Oh, the burnt hands and feet to go for it. This area from here to the dumpster will be taped off. Can't do it right now because we won't be able to drive. Through the spider victim area. Not even going to bother trying to caution all that off. I'll have the haunted house tour guide here. <clears throat> Says something, you know. Step right up this way to the haunted house. Which enters here. Walk through, walk through, walk through. Come out at Pirate's Cove. Here. Boat flipped up. I got an actor here. Miscellaneous pirate props. He will tell you to follow ye journey down to the corner and go left or something like that. Um, electric chair is going to be here. With a live actor. Electric panel will be just set down here. <clears throat> Landlord decided to be a douche and not let me move his wood. So just cautioned it off. Which actually brings you a little farther out into the darkness. This obviously has to be fixed. Which I probably won't even bother with it till the night of because the wind keeps blowing it down. But that marks off this trail. Up through here. Get the right about. Oh, let's backtrack for a minute. Beware of the man eating plants. You enter the haunted forest. Tents now are going to be set up right in this area. So as you walk by, they open it up and scream at you. And then all these, of course, fell down too because the winds. So they won't go back to, till night of. From there, back to here. Zombie. From here, all the way down to the end of this, which goes way down there. Cemetery. So you're walking along. This area is wrapped in plastic. Here's the last stake for the pathway. Then you get to here, and you're in the witch's den. So, <clears throat> set in stone, guys. Done deal. Also, for sakes of calling it done, um, excuse me one minute, I'm actually in the middle of cooking, but it's getting dark out, so, <clears throat> alright, back out. For the sake of calling it done, because all the hard part is done, uh, the electric chair, bear with me just a moment, let me plug my power back in and I will show you.
and this is the setup. Absolutely ancient jigsaw. And it's just on there by these screws are holding it in place. But as you can see, it's extremely sturdy and it's not going anywhere. It's ran down, stapled out of the way, plugged into the outlet. The outlet's just wired up very simply. Extension cord, plugged into another extension cord, split in half to where the hot side runs up under here to the switch. It's all taped off and completely safe for the actor. That's where the constant hot from the extension cord runs to. Then there's another wire trailing back under up to here running to the hot side of our receptacle so that the receptacle is controlled by the switch and then the neutral from the extension cord is just running straight to the receptacle. Uh, I got the strobe light mounted. Probably going to have to play with the positioning of it because I haven't messed with it at night. But it's just mounted on. Wires tucked away and ran over to here. So, as people approach the electrical area, the actor sits extremely still. They get in front of him, he throws the switch, he gets electrocuted, and then he jumps up at them. So, there you go, guys. Poor man's electric chair. Thinking, thinking. Don't think I have anything else to share with you guys. Um, probably not a lot of very amusing on camera, but getting the layout set in stone. We got two more actors set in stone. I do have my prisoner committed, and I have my Michael Myers committed, done deal. Uh, still got to get doo -doo -doo -doo, three more actors, but they're in the works, so I'm pretty happy with the way things are coming together. The major thing that we're lacking is still obviously the haunted house and getting that covered in plastic. <clears throat> but I'm working on separating out some of these 2x2s two from over there to sink in the ground on the two and a half sides for over there. So basically it's just a matter of getting it done. And then as of right now, funds are still iffy and uncertain about the haunted house over there. So we might not even have one. <clears throat> I'm going to be extremely disappointed if that's the case. But, I mean, even if we do have one, it's just going to be um, black plastic walls. Um, I don't want to do any lighting in there. I want it to be really dark, so I'm just going to leave the top off. Let the moonlight shine in about halfway through, maybe three-quarters of the way. There'll be a curtain to go through on the other side of that as an actor to scare you. So, I mean, it's not really anything major anyway, but... I really want it so hopefully it works out that way if not um, we'll just amp up everything else so we're getting close um, got everything that we need safe for the haunted house um, except for our, our light fixtures which I've started buying some of them already still just a couple to go so hopefully pretty soon we'll have that I got a few extension cords I need to either purchase or borrow other than that, everything's looking pretty online. Um, pretty happy. Guys, let me know what you think about the electric chair and the grill. Comments down below. Creative suggestions, ideas, or thoughts in general. Much appreciated. Um, did want to give a shout out to Barry Belcher. Uh, check him out. He does amazing, amazing art. Very talented guy. Uh, he's also a subscriber now. So check that out. Check out Facebook, 40 Days of Halloween. And happy haunting. Subscribe, and we'll see you guys later.